Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitali. Today I want to show you a recipe that I'm calling my almond and apple pinwheels. Call them almond apple, apple almond, whatever, it doesn't matter. This recipe came out of leftovers in the fridge. Now, I'm the kind of person that at the end of the week, before I go food shopping, I like to take whatever's left over in my fridge and pantry, like if I have any opening of like pack, um, chocolate chips and things like that. I just like to make stuff with it so I can start my week fresh. My dad was over, I made these, and uh, before I even took a bite, my dad ate one and he was like, Laura, you have to share this recipe. You have to share it, it's too good. So I love that my dad gets super passionate about food and this is these came out so unbelievably good that now I make, I want to make them, not just to have leftovers, but like I want to make them because they were so delicious. So the recipe is very basic and very simple. The filling is the same as my almond uh, filling for my almond croissant. So it's just ground almonds, unsalted butter that's been softened at room temperature. I have one small diced apple that's been peeled, an egg, some sugar, a little flour and salt, a lemon, and some vanilla extract. You're also going to need some pie crust, which I'll come to in just a minute. I'm not going to add any almond extract to this because I don't want it to be so almondy. I don't want it to be so strong in almond flavor. I just kind of want it to be subtle and sweet and have a little almond, a little lemon, some vanilla, some fresh apple. They're just wonderful. I've got the oven preheated to 375. I am ready to rock and roll. In a bowl, I am going to add my butter. Everything's better with butter. And then I'm going to add my sugar. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use an electric whisk to mix these together until they're really well combined. Okay. I'm going to add my egg, a little bit of vanilla extract, not too much, because I'm not making a huge batch. I'm only going to make, well, it makes about 24. It's pretty good. They're little though, like this big. So for me, it's like three per person <laughs> or half a batch. And then just a little lemon zest. Not so much that these have like a really distinctive lemon flavor, but just enough to really sort of make the almond not so strong. But in this case, since I'm not using an artificial flavor like an almond extract, it doesn't really matter. I just love that lovely sort of fresh note from the lemon against the sweet with almond and everything, it's just perfect. So now what you need to do is whisk this for a couple of minutes. I want this to be really well incorporated and thick, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Fabulous. You see, it's almost like a mousse lice, mousse lice, <laughs> mousse like consistency. That is what you want. All right, ground almonds and then just a little bit of flour and some salt, because salt is a flavor enhancer. I get a lot of questions about why do you add salt to your desserts? It's just the same reason why I add salt to savory dishes. It's salt is a flavor enhancer. It makes everything you add salt to come alive. Take a, a test that's really easy is you take a tomato. You, you eat a raw tomato as is, it tastes okay. Put a small sprinkle of salt on the tomato and it's juicy and sweet and vibrant and amazing because salt brings out the flavor. All right, we're just gonna mix this all together and then we'll, get, we'll keep going. All right, so what I have here is some pie crust. Now, if you have homemade pie crust on hand, more power to you, boo. I'm also the kind of person that when I see a good deal, I take it. So sometimes when you find uh, pastry crust, just plain pie crust at the grocery store and a good deal, I like to grab a few boxes and put them in my freezer so that I always have pie crust on hand because they thaw really, really easily. Now you need one pie crust for this. You can also double the recipe, of course. This is about a 10 inch round circle. What I'm going to do is I am going to take my filling, pop that right on. And then just give it a good schmear. Schmear it nice and even. It's, it's not going to be super, super uh, thin, but I don't want it to be super, super thin. And I like to leave just a little bit of a border all around because it is, when you roll these, they will kind of um, puff up, you know, puff the, the filling. It's going to sort of maneuver into that area and squeeze to the sides. So I like to leave about, I would say, a half inch or so border all around, but if you come over to my house with a ruler, I ain't opening the door because that's not how I roll. I don't do things super, super precise because nobody cares. Okay, now 
you take your apples and you just sprinkle your apple evenly over the top. And I just like to sort of do that. I like to kind of really get them into that filling. You just cut this in half like so. And then I just kind of work from the sides. And then you just kind of roll, roll like that. And don't worry if your filling spills on it. It's going to be delicious. And then you just cut each roll into 12. That's it, into 12 little pinwheels. Once you have them cut, I just like to put them into a greased mini muffin tin. You don't have to use a mini muffin tin. You can also use like a round pan, a cake pan or whatever. They'll stick together as a bake, but who cares? They're going to be delicious nonetheless. These just take about 20 minutes or so in a 375 degree oven or until they're lightly golden brown. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. And I'm going to clean up. These babies were in the oven for exactly 20 minutes. Now, yes, I admit, they no longer look like a pinwheel. But really, do we care? No, I don't care. Nobody cares. Because the thing is, that filling kind of puffs up and it cooks on the top. It's just so, in the words of Sal, it's too good. It's too good. Because it is. <laughs> I've let them cool for a little bit, but they're nice and warm still. Look, they're crumbly. They've got almost like the interior of a little bit of a cake. You know? They're like bakery pastries. You know what I'm talking about? Divine. I promise you, they are so easy, but they are like bakery worthy. Sweet, slightly tangy from the apple, crunchy from the pie crust. Nothing about these isn't amazing. Listen to Sal, you have to make these. You absolutely have to. Go to lauraindthekitchen.com get the recipe, make them this weekend, during the week, whenever. They're an all-purpose, like they're always going to be amazing. They come out wonderful every single time. Have fun, make them, love them, eat them, enjoy. I'll see you next time.